welcome to my channel. I'm Rachel. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on when and where you are watching. We are going to be reacting to Wednesday episode four today, and I'm really pumped because I do know that this is where the whole viral dance stemmed from, and so that's really all I know about this episode. <laughs> and the main thing I knew about the season in general was about this dance, so I'm excited to see it. I'm a dancer myself, so that's kind of why I'm really pumped about it. I have been thinking about who I think the monster is, and Xavier was my top suspect, but I could also see it being Tyler. I don't know, I was thinking about the fact that Xavier had like scratches on his neck. Is that a scratch from the monster himself? And if that's the case, then he wouldn't be the monster, you know what I mean? It seems everything's too convenient to blame Xavier right now. Tyler can be a suspect too. I feel like he's dealing with something. Guilt, perhaps? Not sure. Because they're really making him out to be like the golden boy, which I feel is intentional. Maybe I'll get some clarity this episode. Maybe I won't. I don't really know. But I'm excited either way. Let's watch! Okay, I'm already suspicious. This is exciting. Uh, I never noticed that you can't have a girl butt. Is that weird to say? Oh, okay, it's just a thing. Well, I do the autopsy. You find the files of the monster's other victims and make copies. Oh, she's real legit about this. What remains of the chest and torso indicates a frenzied attack. The subject has been almost entirely disemboweled. Oh, poor man, even though he was scary and creepy. Subject's left foot is missing. It appears to have been chewed off at the ankle. Oh. The killer cut off two toes from the victim's left foot. Best guess, they use a surgical saw. Are they purposely trying to get body parts? Or is this the first time this has happened? She already looks dead. Perks of being Wednesday Adams. Five more minutes. She likes it. getting comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> Thing and I may have made an unsanctioned trip to the county morgue to copy the files of the monster's victims. There are so many levels of ew in that statement, <laughs> I don't even know where to begin. I want Ina to team up with her. She needs help, even though she's doing fairly well on her own, but I feel like she could use someone else to take her seriously. And the bearded man from the meeting house. Too tough. This might be too much for Enid, though. He's like a seasoned serial killer. It's quite impressive, actually. Yeah, poor girl. <laughs> Fetch your smelling salts. Again. Again, it's happened before. While well, most plants reward their pollinators with sweet nectar, many carnivorous varieties turn to sexual trickery or deception. Oh, just like my ex. I tweaked my back fencing. The orchid pheromone yeah, sure, that okay. mimics a female insect. You can see the scratches on his neck. I do still need volunteers for the decorating committee. What, you're not gonna volunteer? I'd rather stick needles in my eyes. Yeah, that's not her scene, but it's about to be. Or you could invite someone and have a little fun. Oh, are you asking? Oh, she sees it. Yeah. Wow, he really didn't hide that well. He could at least put like a band-aid over it. Like those are open. Hmm. We need to do this. Xavier didn't get those scratches from fencing. He's hiding something. Yeah, what the hell is in that little shed? Oh, gag. What's going on? What's happening? Right, Neo. So he knows what it looks like. Xavier, you just became that much more interesting. See, this is what I'm saying. Like, he was telling her, oh, it doesn't exist, writing her off, making her feel invalid, like it doesn't even exist or whatever. And then that's been, oh Wednesday. God, no. Xavier. Why has he not left? What are you doing? Nothing. Spying on you. What is this place? It's kind of my private art studio. Private, you say, uh-huh. Why don't you give me a tour? Maybe another time. Why were you looking for me? I wanted to go over Miss Thornhill's homework assignment. She didn't give us homework. Oh, Wednesday, you're losing it, babe. Why are you really out here? Is this about a certain dance that makes you want to poke needles into your eyes? Oh. Perhaps? Uh, no, exactly. I'm all ears. Oh, God. Sometimes intentions melt in the face of unexpected opportunity. This was my chance to get up close and personal with a potential serial killer. Oh, God, she's gonna lead him on. Are you really going to make me ask? Oh, absolutely. I feel like that's the first time I've ever seen that man smile. Would you go to the dance with me? Nice. Wednesday, I would love to go to the dance with you. I thought you'd never ask. Aww. Neither did I. <laughs> 
see, Xavier like he's an enigma to me because he likes her, which gives the impression that that's why him as a monster would protect her or wouldn't go for her because he likes her, so why would he hurt her? And the way that he's kind of deflecting all of Wednesday's work in trying to find the monster is telling as well. And now this with the shed and the drawings, clearly he knows the monster exists, clearly he's gotten close to it enough. And then there's the fact that his power is that he can bring things that he draws to life. Like what if the monster is actually something that he drew and he brought to life? So it's really not anybody specific, it's just a monster he created. And maybe he's feeling guilty about it, I don't know. Maybe trying to stop it, I don't know. Yeah. Oh my god! Wednesday Adams is going to the Raven! You know what you need now? A bullet to the head. <laughs> a dress. I already have one. Not the one you showed up here in. You need something that screams, first date, stand back bitches, I have arrived! Yes, Enid, I'm loving this energy. What kind of dystopian hellscape is this? <laughs> Too much pain for her. I feel I'll only slow you down. Cut me loose and go run with the pack. Are you sure? I wonder if Enid's gonna get her a dress and like she's gonna pick out one that she believes Wednesday would like. I'm not stopping. Oh, okay. Okay. Never mind. She's gonna get that dress. Ah! I mean, I know she is. I've seen the pictures, I've seen the videos. Where'd she get that dress? I was buried in it. We both know that there's a monster out there. If we're going to stop it, I think it's time we both put our differences aside and began to work together. I'm sorry, you gotta do better than that. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, he's so annoying. Why would I share information about an ongoing murder investigation with a high school kid? Because I go to Nevermore and you don't. Exactly. Don't you want some eyes and ears behind those ivy-covered walls? Exactly. Smarten up! The person who drew this, is that your suspect? It's probably not gonna be the person. You bring me some concrete evidence, maybe we'll talk. Maybe it is. I don't know. See you. <laughs> I hate to say it. I hope I don't sound ridiculous. Who's this boy? Who's this boy? Is it okay if I talk to Enid? Don't worry. I can handle him. Who is this? Who is this man? I mean, he could be walking down the street. I wouldn't... I wouldn't know a thing. I'm... Lucas Walker. Mayor's son. Oh, yeah. And my roommate kicked your butt twice. Wednesday Adams is your roommate? Oh, he's the pilgrim boy? Oh, I don't recognize him without the pilgrim hat. <laughs> Sorry to this man. I got a friend who works at Hot Couture. She overheard you're on the hunt for a date to the Raven. Maybe we can help each other out. Does that not sound a little fruity to you? Oh, he's gay. He's gay. He's gay. You guys have the Raven coming out this weekend, right? I must be the only one not obsessed with this stupid dance. So you're not going? No, she is, babe. Actually, I was forced to ask someone as an act of self-preservation. Yeah. So who is it? Well... <laughs> Savior. Got it. Hope you two have fun. I'm not sure why you're becoming upset. Yeah, that's kind of the problem. Call me crazy, Wednesday, but you keep giving me these signals. Uh... When? Where? It's not my fault I can't interpret your emotional Morse code. Yeah, what signals is she giving? I thought we liked each other, but then you oh pull my... something like this and oh I have no idea God. where I stand. Oh my God. I mean, am I in the more than friend zone or just a pawn in some game you're playing? Or you could have been like a friend. I'm just dealing with a lot right now. I need to prioritize. Thanks for clearing that up. Give me a call if I ever move up your to-do list. What just happened? I don't understand, bitch. No, but like, I'm confused. Were we supposed to get that vibe? Because I got none. Like, it was very clear that Xavier was into Wednesday, but I didn't feel at all as if Tyler was actually into her. Because all they've done is basically just investigate these murders together. Like, there hasn't really been anything more than that in their chemistry even. Xavier's the one that's purely shown jealousy, actively showing interest in Wednesday, and Tyler hasn't at all. And that kind of annoys me. The fact that he's mad at her, that she doesn't know that. Are they trying to make it seem as if she knew his feelings for her? I'm confused. I'm confused. Because the thing is, even though Tyler and Wednesday get along better, I still feel like there's more chemistry between Xavier and Wednesday. Even though she didn't really ask him because she wanted to and she thinks he's the monster and everything. But I really saw her and Tyler kind of being just friends. So I don't see how that connected at all. And I'm mad that he's mad at her for that. She's not obligated towards anything towards you in the first place because you never spoke about any feelings you had for her anyway. So what is she supposed to do? It just seems like everything he just said was just all in his head. Boys. I can't. I can't. This is why she needs to date Enid. That's all I'm saying. Could you get this to your roomie? Put in a good word for me. I hear she's still sans date for the Raven. Eugene. <laughs> I know the chances of her asking me are next to zero, but I don't care. I'll keep putting myself out there until Enid finally sees me. Ew, that's not it. Don't do that, bro. Don't, look, don't. 
Don't. Even if she never does. She will. I'm playing the long game. That's not the way to go. If she clearly shows disinterest in you and you clearly keep pursuing her, that's just gonna continue to give her the eh. What are with these boys? They don't know anything. This is definitely its lair. Are those human? No, I think it's got a taste for venison. Oh. Oh. Yahtzee. What is that? Concrete proof. Oh, it's a tooth. So the chains could be used to chain up people, but I doubt it. I feel like it's to chain up the monster himself. Say the monster actually is a person like Xavier Tyler or whatever. Maybe they turn into a monster without their control. And so they try to tie themselves up. Kind of like if you watch Vampire Diaries and Tyler, Tyler from Vampire Diaries, oh my God, who's a werewolf has to chain himself to like a wall in a cave thing so that he doesn't go out and kill people when he turns. It could be similar to that, honestly. Knock it off! Yeah. Oh god. Why does she keep getting caught by him? What the hell are you doing? How do you know what the monster looks like? Yeah. Or are these all just self-portraits? Ooh! Oh, what, you think it's me? I saved your life. So did the monster. Or was that you the night Rowan was killed? You are so out of line right now. I'm just trying to uncover the truth. She's not really out of line, babe. You've given a lot of signs. This creature's been haunting my dreams for the past couple weeks. I try to block it out, but I can't, so I just come in here and paint it. When I was painting this one, the claws reached out of the canvas and took a swipe at me. Ah! So you just happened to draw pictures of it, down to the location of its lair in the woods? Those are some pretty vivid dreams. You were in here before when I caught you outside. Yeah, babe. That's the only reason you asked me to the Raven, isn't it? Yeah, sorry about that. It's been a bite around the ass. You are unbelievable. It's nothing personal. No, it never is with you, is it? I mean, do you even care about anyone or, or anything at all? She cares about Enid, I think. Get out! <sighs> now both boys are mad at her. I feel like he might have a more viable reason to be mad, but at the same time, you kind of made it appear as if you could be the monster. I mean, this thing is killing innocent people. Like, it could be anyone. I'm sorry, but... That's the claw of the monster, and that's a dried blood sample from a potential suspect. Run the DNA test and see if they match. I'm sorry, do I work for you? Yes, you do. Why don't you get this? I and mean, who's the suspect? Run the test first, then I'll explain everything. I'm not playing games, Adams. Neither am I, Sheriff. Yeah, what the hell? It might look like she is to other people, but she really isn't. She's just trying to figure this out. Why so glum? Saw you at lunch, asked if she got my honey. It's not like I didn't warn you. Um. Sorry, Eugene. I was going to suggest we stock out the cave and identify the monster, whoever it may be. See, there's like tension there, there's chemistry there. Even though I don't love Xavier, because I really don't, but I don't know, there's just more there. He's a complex character and I like complex characters. I hear you might be free tomorrow night after all. Oh, are they going together now? Oh God. Like she's still going after him. I stick to my word, babe. Bianca really could get like anyone and she keeps going for this. Girl. Wake up! Don't you remember being full of hope and excitement about the raven? Boy, I asked Timmy down for another girl. Morticia Frump, in fact. Wednesday's mother? Okay. It's been years, babe. I sure hope that that's not the core reason why she's holding a grudge against Morticia right now. Uh -huh. Why is she so interested in Morticia? I feel like every time she like asks about Wednesday's mom, when Morticia's brought up, she's like, Tisha? There's something going on with Thornhill and Morticia. What's going on there? Why is she so interested? Can I grab any extra batteries for the flash? Tyler. Oh, that's cute. Got your invite. Guessing you had dang drop it in the tip jar. Oh. Good guess. Oh. Yeah, after dang. our last <laughs> Not in meddling. I mean, your note was so genuine and sweet. Totally took me by surprise. Babe, how? Why would you believe it was from her? Me too. Now that I'm here, glad I came. Oh my god. Does she like him? You need a few minutes. Genuine and sweet. How could you do this to me? <laughs> Really, the ultimate betrayal. Oh, yes, he got it for her. Put your hands all over. Put your hands all over me. Put your hands. Why are you so like, sensual right now? Look how she came there. Oh, she looks so good. She looks so cute. Wow, you look. Unrecognizable, ridiculous. A classic example of female objectification no, for the male gaze. Oh, she went hard. Amazing. I mean, it wins that you look beautiful. This just feels so sudden that Tyler is being all like sweet and affectionate. Like what? Since when? Uh, what happened to staking out the cave? Well, <laughs> see, the thing is... Guess I'll check out the woods myself. Don't go alone. We'll go together tomorrow night, understood? 
Hummer never shies away from danger. No, Eugene. If something bad happens to him because he's an idiot. Honey, you've got a big storm coming. Oh my god, the pink hair. Is that an abominable And the jewels. She's really showing out. I love it. It's giving. You any teeny? Yeah. Oh. Girl, eat it. Fix that. Oh, there Ain't she it? is. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Not the compromising position. Loving this dance together. Sweet. So what? They haven't talked since. He was stoned and why is he the one that seems bothered why didn't he go talk to her and be like hey sorry like i accidentally stoned myself that's why i didn't show up he didn't do that like they just didn't talk every single guy is annoying me he's annoying me does your mood have to do with a certain big tail goth girl yeah she's not here oh she is babe we are but i love bianca's makeup she looks stunning appreciate the last minute invitation so no more talking about Wednesday Adams. No, that's not gonna Deal? happen. <laughs> He's too hung up. He's too whipped. Yo, check it out. There we go. <laughs> Wednesday totally busted out of her cocoon. Oh, the way he looks at her, I'm sorry. <laughs> Wednesday Adams. What a lovely surprise. Miss Thornhill, this is Tyler Galpin. Oh, she knows. Double cap, no foam, two pumps of sugar-free vanilla. <laughs> it's a small town. It's hard to keep secrets. <laughs> I have a feeling she has a secret of her own. I'm just getting the sus vibe. I mean, we know she does. She's a little bit too bubbly, too smiley. She's trying to portray an image on this video as if she's a cute, adorable woman, and she's not. Uh, here we go. Can't believe you brought him. Why are you bringing this up? Because you don't know what he did to me. What did he do? I need to know. Like, there's so much left unsaid. Enlighten me. Are we getting like a carry situation or something? You follow pro hockey? Lifelong Sharks fan. Watch hockey or we'll go a tongue long on you. You mean tongue long? Oh, look. You guys actually have things in common. How surprising. You up for getting down? Yeah. And you're about to do this thing now? Eugene Ottinger, no movement at the cave, no sign of the target. Eugene. I just heard a rare club-horned grasshopper. Well, this will actually be interesting because if the monster does show up and Tyler and Xavier are still at the dance, then that would kind of prove something. But if one of them disappears... Xavier told me what you did last year. Hey, you and your friends assaulted him and destroyed his mural on outreach day. Oh. God, that's not good. That's not good at all. I guess that was inevitable. Why'd you do it? The truth is, I'm still trying to figure that out. I got sent away to this boot camp and realized that's not the version of myself I want to be. Uh, I did a terrible thing, but I swear I'm not a terrible person. But you're going through some stuff. I'm still very sussed out by you, sir. Did you think I was going to judge you over some lousy prank? I would have taken it further. Hmm. You mean like putting piranhas in a swimming pool? Yep. I may have done a little digging on you after we met. I'd do it again. Look at the way he's looking at it too. I knew there's a reason I liked you. I feel like Tyler is a lot more sinister than he appears to be, that he makes himself out to be. I turned into a teenage <laughs> I want to make history. And that's what this is. <laughs> the way he's And I know that some of this, or all of it, was improv, which I love even more. Get you, baby, with a love. Oh my god, she's so iconic. And I've seen people redo this dance, and no one has pulled it off. Like, literally no one has. People don't understand that it's like the subtlety that makes it so good. It's the bossiness of it all. And I, I remember in the interview she said that she research people like Fosse and different Fosse dances for this dance specifically. Oh! She's so hot. He's so mad. He's so upset. Do me a favor. Take off your amulet and make me forget about it. I can't believe you would ask me to do that. 
Wow, he is so down bad. You broke up with me because you thought I was manipulating you with my siren song. Now you want me to use it to help you get over another girl? Not good. She's so cool. She is her, like this is the girl. I do like that Tyler loves it so much. Like he's so attracted to that. What's going on? Come on, come on, go, 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 take, go. Oh, this is like who Lucas was texting. Guys, I was thinking that maybe this isn't such a good idea. You're the whole reason we're even doing this. Yeah, don't tell me you've got soft like Tyler. So Tyler used to hang out with them? Oh God. Well, I'm glad he like seems to have changed, but I don't know. Who is that? Oh my god. Who is it? Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Interesting. Clever and Fenty High Heels clearly had a side hustle as a torture. Please become friends. You don't know what it's like never knowing people's true feelings. That's why Xavier broke up with me. He can never fully trust me. The worst part is I can never trust his feelings either. Mm. We're lucky. You tell? You don't care what people think of you. She does though. She really does. Honestly, I wish I cared a little more. That's true, I guess, yeah, she doesn't care as much because she kind of just does what she wants to do. I feel like it is more in a positive light, though. You can not care and still care in different ways. Yup. What did I say? Oh my gosh. This is insane. She's the only one that loves it. Oh my god, you got blood all over me. Thank you. <laughs> what is it? It's only pain. The way she's just standing there like she doesn't care at all. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <gasps> she needs to go check on. Are you okay? Eugene is in the woods. He's in danger. Eugene, go for Eugene. What the hell are you doing, man? I was just texting my dad. He's on his way. Wait, have you seen Wednesday? I lost her. How should I know where she is? She's your date. Oh, Jesus. Chill out. You did this? I can't believe I fell for your crap. Oh, Enid. What? I thought you were different. Oh, you liked me. Wolf out. Wolf out. Wolf out. Wolf out. Get away from her. Yes, Ajax. Finally, stepping up. Like, I didn't even want to go with him. I wanted to go with you. So then why didn't you ask me? Because you pulled me off the other night yeah. and you never told me uh, why. Uh, he's so slow. He's so slow. I accidentally looked in the mirror and kind of stoned myself with my snakes. We should probably take it slow, right? I totally agree. Oh, uh, okay. Yes! I knew it was gonna happen. Yay! Okay, so it turned out good for her. Communication, people. Communication. Eugene, if you just listened to Wednesday, this wouldn't be happening right now. You better Eugene. run. I swear something happens. Eugene! So, see? So a creature's there. I guess we'd know, like, enough that Xavier and Tyler wouldn't be here, but maybe they are because they're also looking for- I don't know. Eugene! Over here! <sighs> Thornhill's the monster? Because I could see that, that the whole Normie thing was a lie. That's so sus. And we know she has secrets. We know she claims she's a Normie, so she doesn't have powers. She's super overly nice. My thing is, if it is her, why wouldn't she get at Wednesday? Like, she clearly knows something more having to do with her and probably her family and probably her mom. You know, I'm like, have I been led astray? I mean, I kind of knew that Xavier was probably gonna be red herring, but not really Tyler was, too. I don't know, though. I'm not gonna find out until, like, the very end. I'm just gonna be making guesses and y'all are gonna be laughing at me for <laughs> all the wrong ones I make. But what? Is Eugene dead now? Like, what the hell? I literally hate love triangles. I just, I can't take them. They're so annoying to me. <laughs> so, I just need her to like choose one if she even likes them because I'm not sure that she full heartedly does. I feel like she doesn't like Xavier, but she could like Tyler. But again, what? I... 
And that's that. It's a really good episode though. Loved finally seeing the dance. The writing of the show is so good. Humor is amazing. Costumes, the cinematography, everything's so great. And I'm glad we got to see more of a vulnerable side of Bianca too and how Bianca and Wednesday could kind of get on a similar level. Because I did from the beginning, it would be real awesome if the two of them teamed up. So I'm still holding out hope for that, but who knows? Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this vid, give it a like, respectfully comment your thoughts, no spoilers please, and as always, subscribe. Or don't, I cannot make you, but I would love it if you did. And I will see you next week for episode five. Bye.